Hi so my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Kira if you're new, Island Socialist on Instagram and my blog is islandsocialist.com. Today's video is going to be super short and sweet because I'm just dropping in to let you know I am over on the Love Notions blog today. Today's my turn to do the feature Friday pattern and I'm also teaching today's sewing school lesson. Stay tuned. <laughs> So today's Love Notions Feature Friday pattern is the Allegro Bottoms. This is a woven pattern with seven different bottoms views. We're talking pants, shorts, and skirts. Lots of optional details, and it's also a really simple sew. So all of the views come with front slash pockets, but of course, pockets are always optional. You don't have to use them. There is that cut line if you do want to cut on your pocket line. Um, for bottoms, I don't think I can do without pockets. There are also optional back pockets. Then there is a four fly for the pants and shorts views. So nothing complicated, but it looks like there's a zipper there. The waistband is elastic, so super easy <laughs> to make and super easy to fit. And there's an optional drawstring as well that you can put in the elastic casing. So for the pants, you can make the cropped version or the full length version. There's also a jogger option, which is really cute, which is probably the one I will gravitate most to. For the shorts, you have a five inch inseam and a nine inch inseam, and you can do a regular hem or you can also cuff the shorts. And for the skirt, there are two lengths. There's knee length and there's ankle length and the ankle length skirt has side slits. Now, if you remember for Mother's Day, I said that I was going to make the Allegro Maxi skirt for my mom and I did do that. So I'll be sharing that in today's video as well as my little hack that I did for the guest blog. Also, this pattern has number sizing, so it goes from zero to 32. For reference, I made size 14. So I'm gonna show you my mom's version first because that one I made exactly according to the pattern. So this is her one hair. I showed you guys this fabric and everything already in my Mother's Day plans. Here is the side slit. I did bring the side slit down um, an extra two inches <laughs> so the slits don't go up as high as they should um, this is what the hem looks like i did make one little boo boo and <laughs> that is that i made the waist elastic a little bit too big i was kind of trying to measure based on her waist i actually made the same size that i made for my version but I wanted the waist to be just a little bit bigger and I made it a lot bigger <laughs> by accident. I'm gonna have to go ahead and rip out all of this top stitching and um, taking the waist elastic a little bit and then do the top stitching all over again. But otherwise, this is really, really pretty. It is a border print. I can't go far back enough for you to see the entire skirt, <laughs> but it's really, really pretty. Back is exactly the same. I made sure that the pattern matched on the sides, even though there is a slit. I just wanted to make sure that that white border started at the exact same place on both the back and the front. And for her version, I did do the pockets, but I left out the drawstring. Let me see if I can find the pockets to show you. So here is one of the pockets right here. So I'm gonna put my mom's aside and we are going to get into the nitty gritty not even in nitty gritty because for the nitty gritty you have to head over to the love notions blog but i'm going to give you a little overview of the hack that i did for my version so remember i said that this is a woven pattern i find that most people use linen chambray cotton the little bit more sturdier weight woven fabrics well i wanted something really drapey really flowy really beachy so I went for a very, very lightweight crepe fabric. And this is another border print. So both mine and mommy's are border print. So this is what my border print looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. So the top of it is like this blue and white tie dye. And then there's like a different print of blue and white and then another different print of blue and white. And then this absolutely gorgeous print to the bottom. I accidentally just hit 
the fan if you're hearing a little jingling noise. So I managed to score this fabric on sale at my fabric store. It was on the sale rack for $7, I think it was. And I picked up three yards and I was able to make this gorgeous skirt. Now I actually had a maxi dress in mind. So not too far from this, right? And when I knew I was making the feature Friday pattern, I had initially planned to make the pants, but I feel like if I kind of dreamed this one up, like the week of my deadline and I switched, I had already started working on my mock-up for the pants. And then I, I don't know, the, the fabric just spoke to me and the idea hit me and I decided, okay, I know everybody loves the pants. I know the pants are more popular, but I just <laughs> really want to go with the maxi hack idea. So I dropped the pants and <laughs> this is what we have now. So that was the back I was showing you because I wanted to save the front for a special moment. Are you ready? Drum roll. <laughs> this is what the front looks like. So there's my little drawstring and my elastic waist. And I really hope you can see, but there are roller loops and pearl buttons going on the front. And then there is this gorgeous front slit that starts like right at the knee, right above the knee and goes down. I kind of started my slit right at where the knee length skirt is supposed to hit. Yeah, I'm sweating so bad today. Whew, these days are so hot. That's actually why I wanted this skirt because listen, it is so, 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 so hot in these parts these days. So I have this gorgeous flowy maxi that is perfect for walks on the beach, perfect for casual days. Throw on a tank top, throw on some cute little sandals, good to go. And these buttons are technically four buttons because that this entire placket part is stitched down. Nothing is going to come popping open or flying out. The only part that's open is the slit and everything else is stitched down. I just didn't want to risk roller loops on a skirt. I feel like if when you sit, those could kind of pop out. Not that this pulls or anything because this is really, really loose on me, but still I just didn't want to risk it. So those are actually stitched down and they're just a little design element really really cute design element so all the information about this hack how to do it all the steps from start to finish it's a really simple hack it looks a lot more difficult than it is i promise it is very 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 simple the hardest part is the roller loops and remember i said i am doing today's sewing school lesson on sewing machine feet so i am actually demonstrating a ton of sewing machine feeds on this particular project. You're gonna see how I make the roller loops using my piping foot. I know that sounds strange. I promise you want to go ahead and check out that post. I think it's going to be a really good post to keep bookmarked, to keep going back to when you wanna find out about different sewing machine feeds. Almost all of the feeds I talk about in that post, I actually bought in a set on Amazon and I will have that link down in the description box below if you're interested as well as the link to the blog post with all the information on the hack and the entire sewing school lesson as well so as usual with the feature friday patterns the allegro bottoms pattern is on sale today only for five dollars i will have my affiliate link down in the description box below everybody is grabbing this pattern for summer what amazed me is that even before people knew it was the allegro bottoms <laughs> feature friday week I feel like for this entire week, I've been seeing people post Alango Bottoms, the pants version and the shorts version on Instagram and in the Facebook group. I don't know if it's like intuition, <laughs> but everybody seems to be posting Allegros this week, which is really, really cool. So like I said, I had already started working on my muslin. I was working on my muslin from a stretch twill fabric that I was planning to use. Now that that is scrapped, I just want to make the basic linen <laughs> shorts. So I'm going to start a muslin all over again in a non-stretch woven because honestly with this heat i plan to make all the shots for summer i mean we don't really have summer however during you guys some months we are literally roasting <laughs> down here so let me stop rambling this is supposed to be a really short video i'm just gonna insert some pictures of me frolicking on the beach as usual 
in my stunning new maxi with roller loops and buttons and a front slit. sometimes I don't even know how I come up with these things because this one was not Pinterest inspired this was all my brain and at one point I was even like mad at myself like why you had to come up with this why you can just go ahead and do the pants but it works out in the end <laughs> I love my new skirts oh and also I forgot to mention that that tank top that I'm wearing with that skirt I know I'm gonna get questions it is not a sewing pattern that's actually ready to wear however that is a really easy hat that you can do on the love notion summer basics tank basically you just crop it and add stretch lace to the bottom it's literally the same thing so if i didn't have this tank to go with this skirt i would probably just hack this myself and now i think i'm going to hack some other colors <laughs> Since I already have white, I'm probably gonna do like a black because everybody needs a black tank. And I feel like the lace just adds something. Let me know what you think. You guys, I'm really enjoying hacking patterns lately. I'm not gonna lie, when I just started sewing, it was not something I was interested in. And now I feel like the ideas are just coming one by one by one, like hitting me hard. And I've been committing to my ideas and I've just been loving the way everything is turning out. So don't be afraid to hack patterns into whatever you want and you don't have to worry about a right way and a wrong way you just do whatever works for you that's my sewing tip of the day <laughs> so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did give me a big thumbs up also click the subscribe button on your way out if you have not done so already and i will catch you guys in my next video bye